my name's Ellie and I'm Stitching B here on Flosstube and also over on Instagram. Welcome to Flosstube episode three. I'm so glad to be back with you all again. Um, this is a channel all about cross stitch. I'm a big fan of bees, which you'll see in a lot of my projects and a bit of a cross stitch bargain hunter, which you'll certainly see in my haul today. I uh, just want to thank everybody again for all the subscribers that I've received in the last um, few weeks and the likes and comments left on previous videos. I'm so grateful. Um, it's just wonderful to be part of this cross stitch community um, and thank you for welcoming me so much. Um, I'd just like to do a few shout outs to begin with of recent floss tubes that I've been watching. Um, so we'll start with Flossy Sews and Grows, Sally. Um, I've only found her recently, but I've started watching her videos again from the start and her projects are just wonderful. She seems like a lovely, lovely person um, and I've really enjoyed watching them. So I'll, I'll keep up with those now. Uh, Cross Stitch Sarah has just released a new video, again, shows some wonderful projects, um, which I really enjoyed looking at. Um, and she's brilliant. Butterfly Stitches, Cotton and Clay, Laura. She's just again released another video, which I really enjoyed watching. She tells you, tells you all about her Disney experience as well, which just makes you want to go. Um, she's great and I love seeing all her projects too. And another one that's relatively new to me is Red Stitchery, Katie. Um, she is a big fan of Mareshka, Dimensions, Riolis, RTO, all those wonderful um, kit providers. And she's got some stunning, stunning projects. Um, you should definitely go and check her out as well. Right, let's get started. So the plan for today is to go through some of my recent finishes that I've either finished or FFO'd within the last month or so. Um, go through a couple of my whips that I've stitched on, although to be honest, there's not that many because a lot of the projects have actually just finished. Um, a bit of stitchy haul. Um, there's not a huge amount. Well, there wasn't until I went to a craft fair uh, last weekend and there's a little bit more than there was before now, um, but we'll get to that. And most exciting news is I'm partaking in Mania this year. Um, I've never done it before, but I'm just, I've got a bit of startitis at the moment, just want to keep starting all the things. And um, I thought this was a, would be a great opportunity um, to start some new projects and yeah, I thought it'd be really good fun. So we'll talk about that. And then I thought I'd kind of do a little feature at the end of each of my videos where I do a little flick through of some of the cross stitch books I've got. Um, probably can't see here, don't know if I really want to show you, but I've got a bookcase which is absolutely jam packed full of cross stitch books. Um, to be honest, it's fit to burst and another bookcase, but that's beside the point. <laughs> um, and uh, I'd like to just show you just like, a couple of um, patterns that are in some of these books and it might interest you um, and possibly enable you to go and buy some of the books. Um, so I'll just show you my kind of favorite charts from them. And um, so that's an idea for the end of the video. So first of all, we'll go through my finished projects. So these two little projects I FFO'd at the start of April. I did show them in my previous finishes video, which you can go back and have a look at if you haven't seen it already. Um, and I just thought I'd show them again because I think they're really cute. Now I'll show you my first finish, which is Peter Rabbit. This is an A2V Brands kit, which you could purchase from Sainsbury's. I got mine off Facebook Marketplace, um, but uh, it might still be in Sainsbury's, I'm not sure at the moment. Um, so I finished this adorable little chart into a little cross stitch pillow and finished it with a bit of cording, which I made myself following a tutorial from Vonna Pfeiffer. And yeah, just kind of framed it with this gorgeous floral fabric, which I believe was one of the ones from Aldi. And uh, that's the back there. This matching fabric. Yeah, I think it's really cute. And then to match that, I've got Jemima Puddle Duck, finished in exactly the same way. Um, again, used a cording, which I made myself using the pink threads um, that were left over. And then, oops, that's the same on the back. So I'll show you them together. Not the easiest things to hold together. Um, just hold them like this. And they're adorable. They just sit displayed next to each other and I love them. Okay, next we have 
Blooming Swan, which, um, as I've mentioned before, is part of the Blooming Swan Sal, um, which is still running at the moment, if anyone would like to join. Um, I think there's a few people that still haven't quite finished their um, stitching on this. Um, so yeah, there's every opportunity to join in. So this is Blooming Swan. She is absolutely beautiful. The colours in this piece and the fractionals um, that are used to kind of create this effect without using any backstitch are just oh incredible. Um, this is a Pigeon Coop Designs chart and I stitched it on a 28 count hand dyed piece of even weave that I dyed myself in this kind of light purple colour. And then used the pom pom trim which I got from Hobbycraft and then a batik fabric which I got from a craft fair and then finished it in a hobby craft white frame, one of the box frames. And yeah, that sits proudly on display as well. Pretty gorgeous. Right, next we have a project that I only finished two days ago. Um, this is Highland Cows, a textile heritage kit. Um, which again I got off eBay I think just a or a destash page and made it my own so I've used a, a hand dyed linen which is an unknown I don't know where I got it from again from a stash um destash or something and then I have finished it I mounted it onto some mat board with a bit of wadding underneath and then I made my own cording again with the cording drill using Vonna Pfeiffer's tutorial which is just two different shades of purple to kind of complement the colours of the thistles and then I bought this um, fabric from eBay I'll link everything down below in case anybody's interested um, and I basically made it into a flat fold so folds out like this and sits nicely on display and um, same fabric is on the back and you basically just kind of make it like a book so it's got the the binding here and um, I watched a few tutorials of how to make a nice bow and um, so I made that myself as well and then just sewed on a little thistle button which I thought complemented it nicely and again glued that on with everything else um, and I'm so chuffed with this I've never made a flat fold before and um, it did take me a full day and um, Vonna Pfeiffer makes it look so easy and you think oh yeah I could do that in an hour or two <laughs> that's fine and then um yeah it takes a lot longer than that for me to do um but I think the, the result is worth it in the end so I'll put that up here so it can be on display for the rest of the video and finally this project I literally finished this morning and um, fully finished it this morning so this is a dimensions kit called Summer Flowers um, which I stitched actually within a very short space of time. I just finished it um, a couple of was it a couple of days ago, um, and yeah, stitched it within less than a month. Um, it was really fun to stitch. Colors are fantastic, and oh, it's just a lovely, lovely chart to work on. So here is my finish, my fully finish even. <laughs> so I again mounted this onto some mount board with a bit of wadding underneath. I laced it onto the mount board as I did with the, the Highland Cows as well and then I got some of this um, paper which you can get from the works or the range I think this was an older one so I don't know if they still have it and um, I thought again the colours kind of complemented the um, yellows and pinks and then I got this frame from the charity shop for $1.99 I believe I've got a whole stash of frames um, and I think, oh, why have I got so many? But it does make it a lot easier when you've got a little project and you just have a little look through um, and find one that complements it perfectly. And I thought the uh, turquoise kind of tealy colours in this match the water beautifully. Um, so I thought this was perfect. And then I've just made my own cording again. As you can tell, I'm a big fan of the cording. Um, and I think it's just a really nice way to finish the project and kind of use complementary colours um, that go within the project. And I think it just adds a nice little finish to it. So I did again two different shades of pink to make the cording and yeah that's the finished article and I haven't even put this on my Instagram yet it's literally hot off the press um, and I just kind of um, finish it where I just write 
my name and you know what I've stitched and then put my little stitching bee sticker at the back there so yeah really nice one to have up for spring and summer um this dimensions kit actually was as I say so easy to stitch it was so much fun um just kind of mostly normal cross stitches and then the water here to give the kind of um, three-dimensional effect is a couple of half stitches and then you've got the back stitch and a bit of um, a few French knots here but other than that it was yeah really good I would highly recommend this chart um, if you've got it and I think it's quite a reasonable kit and um, definitely less than 10 pounds so um, it's a good one for if you're a newer cross stitcher as well so yeah that is all my finishes so now we will move on to the whips that I have worked on. Um, there's really not much progress on any of them because I say mostly I was finishing the swan, finishing the highland cows and the summer flowers I've stitched within the month as well. So only kind of a little bit on these, but um, I guess progress is still progress, isn't it? Put those threads here, sorry. Um, so this is boobies. So I have finished the rest of the bee here um i've done the wings i've done the body i've stitched bees as well i've actually done quite a lot on this um i think i was trying to finish this one and then decided i wanted to work on other things um so i'm using the glow in the dark thread which is an absolute nightmare to work with I absolutely hate it that's probably why i've not finished it um but we'll get there in the end um and i think it will be worth it for the effect that you get um to make it a little bit more spooky um, so this was a chart that I got from Etsy. Um, can't actually remember the designer. I'll link it down below. Um, yeah, really enjoy this little chart, and hopefully I'll get this finished for the next video. So that's that one. Next we have Quake Owl, which is a chart from Yasmin's Made with Love. Again, just to be different, <laughs> I'm not stitching it normally. All right, this is the pattern of what it looks like when it will be finished. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous chart. Love the Quaker design in the out. Oh, it's just, oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, and I decided to stitch this on a milk chocolate linen. 32 count. One over one. What more would you want? Um, so it's absolutely tiny, again, probably why I've not finished it, but I'm determined to get there eventually and um, I like the effect of it, that it's so, so small, really delicate and detailed um, and will fit nicely in a smaller frame, as I say, of which I have many. Um, excuse the masking tape around it, I used to do that when I started projects to stop the edges from fraying. A bit unsightly to be honest but you know it does the job um and then i've got little, my little um hedgehog needle minder from caspilla cross stitch um as i say in my previous videos i've shown you all my needle minders and i have quite a collection <laughs> so i've hardly done anything i say i just um worked on the rose here realized that i've mixed the pinks up but um as it's so small I didn't fancy changing it so we're just going with a slight um unique rose so that's that one next we have um what's this called again be happy home bargains kit just very simple again I've had this for years on the go um i don't know what it is that why they've not stitched on it more but i guess i keep getting attracted to other projects um and i've stitched this on a 32 count duck azure blue even weave i've got micro pore tape on this one um and i think the colors really pop on it love the orange there a little bee I think I've just worked a little bit on the leaf here. Yeah, and this flower. That's all I've done this month. But again, this would be a good project to finish in the not too distant future and get it off the whip list. So don't hold me to it, but that's an idea. Um, but it won't be this month because I say I've got plans. Um, but we'll get to that in a moment. So that's that. Right, now we'll move on to my personal favourite section is haul. 
Um, let's start with the charts that I bought off 123 Stitch. Um, I, I don't know, again, probably on night shift. Um, I was doing a bit of shopping and happened to discover Just Nan. And I've seen Just Nan charts before and not really thought anything of it. But then I saw this Bieber score new one and everything changed. I had to have it. So, you know, you can't just buy one. And um, I ended up buying a couple. But you'll see. Right, let's have a look. So this, oh, it's absolutely beautiful, is When Barnaby Met Bella, and it is a B Biscornu. I've never made a Biscornu before, but why not start with one that's full of embellishments and beads and two different colours of even weave and... Yeah. <laughs> I was like, go big or go home, you know. Got to start somewhere. Sorry, there's a bit of glare on this. Um... I don't really want to check it out though. I think you can probably see it. I'll put pictures in as well. Um, so it is beehives up here, dotted about. Um, you've got bees uh charms in the middle, and that's on a kind of purpley fabric, and then on the bottom it's blue and it's got some gorgeous pink and white flowers, um, and again, lots more beads. And I was just obsessed with this, I couldn't have bought it fast enough. And um, so I got this from one, two, three stitch definitely check it out if you're interested oh yes this was the other one I saw a 15 sided Biscornu um I think I saw that one even before the B one and thought yeah I need to learn how to make up a Biscornu pretty sharpish um so yeah this looks extremely complicated but I like a challenge again we've got lots of beads and um I don't even know where to start with this, but yeah, it's got 15 sides and it's absolutely beautiful. Um, and it's called Floral 15. Again, another Just Nan chart. And then, oh, I saw these, uh, Bluebird Tweet. So it's to cross stitch a little bird and it comes with like the little tail and all the things. I couldn't resist this. So, so cute. And then I also got um, another one that matches that. I think that must be, that's going to be one of my new starts. So that must be in another pile. So I'll show you that when we get to that. Um, I've also got some charts that I bought online. So from the Geeky Stitching Company, um, which I'm a big fan of. Her charts are so colourful and vibrant and just fun. And they look quite fun and easy and quick to stitch and um, so I thought I'd buy a few of those again one will feature in my mania my 10 new starts um, and then I'll put a couple of pictures of the other ones that I bought up here because they're just adorable again same with love poppet and um, she was having a sale so I've wanted the wren chart for ages so I bought that and a couple of others again which I'll show you pictures here because I've tried to print them off and the printer has decided it doesn't want to print pink and it makes everything yellow and blue and it just looks awful so I'll go with the pictures instead I think that would be preferable um so those are those ones and then I've got my project bag where have I put that now um oh here from Yasmin's Made With Love. I'll just take everything out of it for the moment, just so you can see it properly. Oh, and this is absolutely beautiful. Um, again, I had to get their sharpish to get this. I'm so chuffed with the finished result. Look at the colors in that and all the fabrics. Oh, it's so, so pretty. She's so, so talented. I tried to make a project bag a few weeks ago and I spent about three hours on it and I couldn't even cut the fabric out straight so I am absolutely in awe of people that can make project bags and especially Yaz who can make them as beautiful as this. It's got the lovely little flower floral charm there um, and then the back of it again has got a gorgeous blue and green floral print on the back. Which is stunning! Didn't actually expect it to be as big as this. Clearly didn't read any dimensions or anything, but um, it's great for fitting Q-snaps in or uh, nerd hoops um, or any kind of big, bigger projects. So definitely check out Yaz's shop and get yourself one if you're interested. Next we have, oops, I put those over there. 
Well, I went to a cross stitch boot sale last week with my friend and got very, very, very excited um, because everything is, you know, like 50p a pound, like really reasonable prices and people just sell what they have in the craft room um, that they want to get rid of. And I feel like I met myself, but an older version because all these women that were, you know, in their 70s, 80s selling their craft um, supplies that they didn't need anymore or um, didn't have space for was more the point. Um, was really interesting and yeah they kept saying how yeah this is only kind of like five percent of all the stuff that they actually have um and I felt like oh gosh I'm just gonna get to that point aren't I <laughs> where I have no space for anything but it's all part of the fun and I really enjoy having a look and seeing what bargains I can find and I tell you I did get quite a few so let's have a little look at that um I did buy a couple of fabrics but I won't show you those just kind of you know fat quarters those kind of things um, I will have to show you my beads though because I got them for 50 pence and I was gobsmacked by that bargain um, and I think I'm going to make little um, decorative pins you know that you can put in pin cushions and drums and those kind of things and I see Yasmin's got a great tutorial Yasmin Smith with love on YouTube of how to make those so I'll definitely be checking that out and making a few myself so let's start with the threads that I found I think again this was about £1.50 comes with a little box and it's all Madeira um, metallic threads all these ones here and then spools of Krynic um, and then you've got more metallic threads at the back here so I was delighted to find this I think they'll be great for embellishing little projects and obviously for my fancy ladies they might come in useful um, it says five pounds on these but I think these were two um, just little glass beads, gorgeous colours again. So I couldn't resist those. Um, more little beads, again we're just 50p or so, kind of pearl ones with a slight pink um, edge to them, which again thought would be really nice for making pretty pins. Um, got some little cross stitch kits, this is the little Scottish thistle. Can't go wrong with that one. Um, and that's a textile heritage kit as well. I really like these actually. Um, and again, this is another one, which is Scottish Harebell, um, which again, was really reasonable. So I thought I'd give those a go and can put them in some of the many, many frames I have. Um, I've got some scraps of lace, just for a pound, whole bag, um, which I thought would be great for finishing things. A few different colours in there, pinks and beiges and greens. Um, so yeah. Don't know what I'll do with them yet, but they'll be useful to have. I've got some Harris Tweed offcuts. Again, a big fan of Harris Tweed, but you, you can't really buy bits of it. Um, but obviously, people that have bought things to make either clothes or other items have got offcuts. So for three pounds, I got some different colours, um, which I can use for backing cross stitch hoop finishes or pillows or whatever it might be. Then we have my bead box, which was 50 pence, which is just mad. I mean, even the box would be useful to have, let alone everything that's in it. And um, I can't really show you it opening it because it will literally just like, go all over the floor. But um, there's so many different beads in here of all different colours, all different shapes and sizes. And I think it will just be fabulous to make lots of pretty pins with them. So that's the idea for that. Um, another little cross stitch kit I got. Um, I'll just cover up the pattern, but this is actually a Just Nan one. So you can see it there. I just kind of little one that you could put in a coaster. Um, it's got a little ladybird charm, which it doesn't come with, but um, it comes with a little kind of velvety frame. So I thought I'd give that one a go. Only a couple of pounds for that. And what else have we got? Oh, fabric. So there was a lady that was selling um, pulse stitches fabric, hand dyed um, 28 count even weave. Um, but she said she doesn't stitch on 28 count even weave, so she wanted to sell it. And I was like, oh, yes, please. So um, the, they haven't got any names on them, but it's a kind of dramatic sky, I guess, kind of blues and then white and a bit of brown. Um, is an interesting colour, so the lighting's awful. Um, this one I love, it's kind of purples and blues. 
maybe a kind of little mermaid piece something like that and this one is a very very pale pink which I have a couple of ideas for already so you can't really see as well I have got my ring light on but it just doesn't seem to pick it up great um, it's probably better from there just a very very subtle mottling so they were only a tenner each so I had to have those what else we got um i think that was all the craft boot sale and uh, this oh i did a, an order with um hobby jobby i have to really think about that one hobby jobby yeah and um i bought some nerd hoops i don't normally stitch in hoops but um i kind of wanted something in between a q snap and a hoop and i feel like this fits the bill so um i bought all the sizes because you know why not? And um, one of them is actually on a project, so that's why I haven't got it. But I bought all the hoops, all the nerd, and I thought um, these were a really pretty colour. And they were on offer for, I think it was about £22 for all four of them. Um, so that might still be running, I'm not too sure. Um, and then I thought, well, I can't, I had to get a free postage. Really not too. And this is to make your own bag. And I love the pinks and the reds. And it comes with everything that you need to make the bags. It's got even the lace trim and the clasp and all the, the bits and bobs, the actual structure of the bag. This is my first time buying a Lucrest kit, so I'll let you know how I get on. But um, I thought it'd be really nice to actually be able to wear some cross stitch. Um, so I was really chuffed at that find. Next, we have a few kits that my mum found in a charity shop local to her. Um, this is called Wisteria Cottage and it's a John Clayton design and again it's a full kit so that's by the company Heritage Stitch Craft um, so that would be fun to do she also got me this Sue Hawkins one which is actually I think it's embroidery but it makes nice cushion and flowers and pretty leaves so I thought I'd give that a go that's called Elizabethan flowers and then she also found me this prairie schooler chart which um I think she said was only a pound um and it's got all the little santas I've never stitched prairie schooler before but I thought now I'll give it a go and it even comes with a free skein of thread so this is called A Christmas Visit. The chef for them. Oh, I actually forgot to mention these. Um, I also got these from the craft boot sale as well. I don't think you can really see the patterns too well. Uh, but it's a Leisure Arts um, Earth Awakens um, booklet. And the main one that took my fancy was the irises here the picture doesn't look so great but the actual pattern itself looks amazing so i thought for 50p you can't go wrong with that and i think one of the designs on the back there again i'd probably change the back stitch and make it less um blocky but i think that would be a really nice chart to do um i got this free with one of my other purchases i believe this is called blue bowl and it's just a tiny little Ball of flowers, um, which can be made into a small little finish. And oh, that's by Gail Boosie as well. Who knew? Um, and then these magazines were free at the craft boot sale. Again, I don't do a huge amount of embroidery, but I do like to dabble. Um, and I couldn't resist this gorgeous little blue tit embroidery. Um, and there's a few other birds in there as well. So I can show you. Um, there we go. So there is three so I thought they were adorable. Yeah, so a little wren and a blue tip. The nut hatch is the other one. Um, 
then I also found this one. I think you can guess why I bought this. Got little bees on it, a little lavender. That was adorable. Um, and then I also bought a quilt kit because it was a fiver. Um, and I really love the fabrics that are in here. All the blues. I'll show you the fabrics in the back. Greens. So I've wanted to try quilting for a while and um, so I just need to learn how to kind of cut in a straight line first and sew in a straight line and then yeah we'll be cooking the gas. So um, that's by Sarah Payne, Be Crafty Designs and it's called the Blue Quilt Kit. I don't know if it's still available or anything but again that was a good little find to have a go at it. Um, I got, went to my local um, cross stitch shop, Hearts and Stitches in Greenock. Highly, highly recommend. Sandra, the owner, is fantastic. Always welcomes you and, you know, helps you with anything you may need. She sells wool, haberdashery, items, um, you know, the usual kind of, that's uh, why I got fabrics, you know, in the rolls or the, um, in the packs with Ada. Um, and she sells a couple of DMC threads as well for only 60 pence a skein, which is the cheapest by far that I've ever come across. Um, and she sells the variegated threads and she was selling some of the satin threads um, at a reduced price as well. So I'll show you some of those that I bought. Um, these are some of the variegated ones I got. I want to try and use more variegated threads um, and obviously the over dyed ones are absolutely beautiful but are quite expensive and um, so I thought this was a good alternative to try these um, and then these are some of the satin ones that I've got just in a range of colours that I liked um, look at this teal to kind of turquoise one absolutely stunning um, so yeah got a few of those and also got this um, Scottish frame that I thought would be useful for another finish in the future. That was adorable. And this is another little kit that I got from Wool Warehouse um, when I was ordering some fabric. This is called Birdhouse Love by Gail Boosie. Um, and it's just an adorable little heart with the two birds from the gorgeous house. Is that so On, sweet? I guess, to plans, which will be mania. I'm so, so excited to partake in this. I've never done it before. Um, and everyone obviously does it differently. They kind of, there's um, mer mermania, um, monogamania, all different types. Um, I'm just going with regular mania, start all the things. Um, so I'm going to start 10 projects is the aim. Obviously with work and, you know, working chefs, it's not always easy to kind of fit that in. But on the days off that I've got, I'll just try and work around it. Um, to try and make it work. So my first project I started yesterday for the 1st of May and I started a dimensions chart called Hummingbird. Again, I got this off of um, eBay, I think for a very reasonable price. And I love hummingbirds. I just think the colors in them are just exquisite. Um, and this is such an, a gorgeous chart. Um, it's by Barbara Mock originally. And I'm also stitching it on black so I'm stitching on a 32 count even weave um, with all the cord four colours which are all DMC threads so this is start number one so I will show you in my new nerd hoop which I really really am chuffed with um, initially I thought oh the tension's not that great and then I looked up how you actually do it properly to get the tension right and um, yeah that made all the difference so it's kind of that I don't know if you can hear it that drum tension tight and um, it's really easy to put on much more lightweight than a q-snap is and I like that it's more of a square frame obviously a hoop would be round and um, the fact that they all come in different sizes is just fabulous so I thought this one this is a number two and um, 165 millimeters and this I think is perfect um, for this size of project so you can see what I've done so far is just the oops just draw that um leaf She's got just the two greens and then this uh, flower that I've just started is a blend so it's got one strand of one colour and another strand of another and that will just really um, add even more detail to the project. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I'm really enjoying stitching this. That's just kind of one night's progress so it stitches up you know fairly quick 
um, and that's my first start so over the moon with that so now I'll show you my other projects that I plan to start for Mania and um, the other nine of them <laughs> and we'll see how we get on with that again as i say my printer's not really working properly at the moment so i'll just put pictures in of what the project will look like when it's finished and um, i haven't fully kitted any of them yet i've just kind of today got out the fabrics and um, that i'd like to stitch them on and i'll kind of when it gets close to the time of actually starting them i'll cut all the threads out and um, i'm just stitching them all with dmc anyway so i've got the collection so just kind of pick out what what colors i need so the next project, I'm not necessarily starting them in this order, this is just the list that I've made um, and I'll just start them as and when I can. So this next one is called Wren and this is um, by Love Poppet. I saw this chart a while ago and really, 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 really wanted to stitch it but I just didn't get round to it. Um, I think Stitchy Squirrels has definitely finished it and possibly Charlie Feathers as well. Um, they were doing a sale for it um, and oh, it's just absolutely beautiful. Um, so here is the picture of it and I hope to start that one soon. Next is a My Bobbin chart. Um, again, I'll link the name of the design. Um, this is called Scented Thistle. Obviously you can see why I like it because it has got a bee in it and it's got purples in it, which is my favourite colour. And thistles, which are obviously um, Scotland and I live in Glasgow. So that was the perfect project. Um, so I'm hoping to stitch this on again a 32 count um, white even weave and again it's got lots of blends by the looks of things and half stitches and yeah this will be the biggest project that I start um, out of these kind of 10 that I thought I've always wanted, I've had it for years and um, I've never got around to stitching it and I thought today is the day, well this, this, this month is the month. The next one is the bird ornament which I seem to have misplaced. Um, where have I put it? Two seconds, I'll go and get it. Right, here we go. So this is Rosebud Tweet um, to go with the Bluebird one. And, oh, isn't it cute? I'm gonna stitch it again on a 32 count white even weave, which is my favorite at the moment. Um, and then it comes with the little tail piece and all the felt you need and the little rosebud. And again, this is a Just Nan chart. From one to three stitch oh that's so cute just imagine it kind of displayed here somewhere um i have to stitch them both obviously I can't be alone um and yeah it's all dmc threads and that'd be a really fun one to start right next we have beehive which is a mill hill kit beehive house it's called um i've already stitched the um bee gnome which you will have seen in my finish parade and this is this little house. That's so cute. Um, again, got bees on it and comes with everything you need. Don't think it's going to be fun sorting out those threads with all the different shades of yellow, but um, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. I've also got the straw house, and I think mushroom house as well. So I'd like to stitch them as a set and put them on my little light up tree that I've got in the hallway, um, which I think would be really nice. Next one is April Showers. Yeah, April Showers brings May Flowers by the Geeky Stitching Company. Again, I'll put a picture here. I'm gonna stitch this on a 32 count sky um, linen, um, which I stitched my Puffin Love one on, again, which you'll see in my previous video. And if it's okay with Charlie, and um, I think it was Kim that did it as well from Stitchy Squirrels, um, I really like the idea of doing the rainbow colored um, umbrella with this. Um, I think it will really add even more colour and vibrancy to the pattern. Um, so I'm hoping to do that as well um, and finish it in a nice either hoop or little frame or something. Um, and I thought this would be the perfect time of year to stitch that one. And who doesn't love a frog in a jacket? I mean, it's just so, so sweet. Next one is You Are Forever In My Heart. Um, this one I believe I bought from the Nimble Thimble. Um, again, year or two ago um, and it was one of those that you buy the button and then you get the free chart so again I'll put a picture up here if there is one um, and I'm going to stitch this on a 20, 20 count um, 20 count Ada I guess it is um, a kind of straw coloured one which um, I got when I bought the, the button and the pattern and things so um, that would just be a really cute little finish with the two sheep um, and hopefully I'll finish that within a reasonable time frame. 
The next one I'm really excited about is the Pixie Lane. It was a stitch along and um, it's kind of lots of different little fairy houses, which, oh, it's just so cute. And I'm going to try and make it into a little fairy house drum is the idea. Whether or not that will happen is a whole different ball game, but I'm really, really excited about all the finishing um, that I've done recently and I want to keep pushing myself to make new things. And I did the London drum again, see previous video um, if you want to have a look at that. And I thought that pattern would lend itself beautifully to that because obviously it's all, um, well, I'll put a picture here, all the um, little fairy houses all lined up next to each other. And oh, they're just so, so cute. Um, so I'm gonna stitch this on a 32 count opalescent white even weave, um, just to add a bit of sparkle to it. And I think that'll look adorable. Um, number nine, um, can't be without a pigeon coop design for long. Um, this is called Flower Farm. Again, we'll insert a picture. And the colors in this, the purples, the dark pink, oh, it's gorgeous. Um, so I'm going to start this one on a cream 32 count even weave and I think that will look gorgeous as well. So I keep saying gorgeous and just everything's so pretty. Um, and the final one is going to be Daffodil which is a chart from the book which I will show you here. Floral year and cross stitch. Um, still participating in the floral year and cross stitch style which you're welcome to join if you wish. Um, and it's all from this book called the Floral Year in Cross Stitch. This one here, you can get it on eBay and um, secondhand for a reasonably cheap price. I've already done the Cyclamen and I've also stitched the Snowdrop for winter. So we're doing a flower every season and this is the one that I'm doing for spring. So I've got to get it done before June. Um, so this is something else, but hopefully you can see it. Um, oops, too high. Daffodil and Sue at Sue's Knots and Crosses has already finished this one, I believe. Um, I'm stitching this as I am all the others on a 32 count, no, 28 count navy even weave, um, which makes the colours really pop. Um, I haven't finished the other ones yet. I'm waiting until I've done all four of them and then I'll decide what I'll do with them. So that's the plan for that. So that's Mania. Really looking forward to doing that. Um, I'm not normally one that wants to start lots and lots of things. You know, I like to keep my whip count around 10, slightly less than that. But um, I thought, why not? Let's do it. So feel free to join in if you want. Um, there's multiple hashtags out there. I've, um, I'm making a highlights um, page on my Instagram of all the projects and when I start them. Um, so feel free to follow along with that as well. Right. Final part, this is a long video, I'm so sorry. Um, we're going to have a quick flick through of one of the books that I've got in my shelf. Um, this one actually never made it to the shelf because I've only bought it recently, um, but it will be added to the pile. <laughs> this is called Cross Stitch Floral Designs by Joanne Sanderson. And the rose is what attracted me to it initially. Again, I think I saw it on Vinted initially, but I thought, oh, I can get it cheaper than that. So I found it on Facebook, Facebook on um, eBay for, I think it was like two pounds with free postage. So couldn't deny that. Um, and that's what it looks like on the back. So I've highlighted a few of the pages, patterns that I quite like, which you might be interested in seeing. So this one is called The Rose Set. So that's the main part, and then you've got the coaster as well to go with it. This next one, I've blanked out the pattern, is called Carnation and Marguerite, Marguerite Pictures. I really like the Carnation one. So I keep dropping stuff. Um, kind of being quick through this. Next one is the Poppy Cushion Cover. Adorable. Also got the lavender notebook set. Love all things with lavender on. Next we have anemone and sunflower. So again, this is kind of like the floral year and cross stitch book in the fact that they have different seasons and then different flowers um, for each of the seasons that you can stitch. 
This is the Lily and Asta. I like the Lily one there. Then we have all oh, the fuchsia. Definitely need to search this one. Gorgeous colours in that. And these would look nice stitched on a project bag or shopping bag. Cushion, pillow. The world is your oyster. So that was Pansy and Snowdrop. And the Christmassy one, Poinsettia Coaster. So that's that book. So that is Cross Stitch Floral Designs by Joanne Sanderson. Highly recommend if anyone's interested. Right, we made it. Thank you so much for watching this episode and for following along and following me on Instagram, subscribing to my channel. And um, if you're not subscribed already, please hit the like button and subscribe button and um, so you can keep up to date with all my future videos. I'm planning to still do a video every month um, because work. I've been off for the last two weeks, so I've been able to do a lot more stitching, but I will be quite busy in the next few weeks um but yeah hopefully at the start of every month i'll do a little update of different projects i've been working on different finishes hopefully and obviously keep you up to date with mania so thank you for joining me again today hope to see you in the next video happy stitching bye